And I also want to thank the Razorback fans. There are none like our Razorback family. Thank you. We begin with the firing of Razorback head basketball coach Mike Anderson. Anderson won 169 games during his eight years. That averages out to about 21 a year. The problem wasn't regular season wins, but NCAA tournament wins. Over the last three years, the Hogs have struggled in the SEC. And this has been a talker around the state since the announcement came down. And our Kansans have been calling into the buzz to speak their minds. Isabella Moeller is live in Bryant where the buzz is on location. Isabella. Yeah, hey, good morning, Ashley. So we are, they're in a little bit of a break right now, but we've been listening into the callers. They're here at Arkansas Marine, um, and we've been listening into a lot of people calling, and right now it's about 75-25, where people are, are not shocked. They are, but they're not totally shocked. Um, another 25% are, are completely shocked, but um, a lot of the callers at this hour in the past about 45 minutes have been saying that, you know, they've heard this person could fill the spot, or this person, and that's what's going on now. Yesterday was more of a passionate, uh, he should have been fired or he should have not. That's what the buzz folks are telling me this morning. But this morning, it's more of a, okay, let's move on from that. Who's going to fill that spot? So the breaking news happened yesterday around 3.30 uh, is when we found out all of this. But now I was just asking David Basil from the buzz. I said, so when are we going to have this breaking news again? And he said, we're going to have to wait till all of this weekend happens. A lot of the coaches that they've been looking at. Uh, that Arkansas has been looking at are playing this weekend in the NCAA tournament. So he's saying that he thinks it'll be next week. Once these coaches finish out this weekend, it'll be next week that we'll hear something uh, and a little more final as well. But a lot of names are throwing it out. So here in about 30 minutes, we'll get with the buzz and we'll talk to them and hear who those names are, why they think that, uh, and where Arkansas goes from here. So we'll send it back to you guys. All right. Thanks, Isabella. And we also heard from former Hog coach Nolan Richardson. Mike Anderson was an assistant coach for him for several years. I'm shocked to the fact that uh, I thought maybe another year that uh, with his young basketball team and how they were, you know, improving would give him the opportunity to, uh, to maybe add another player or two and, and be in the hunt again for an NCAA uh, player play. And, but it didn't happen that way, and so that, that kind of that shocked me. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll talk to some students on the Hill and find out what they're saying about the firing of Coach Mike Anderson. And speaking of Nolan Richardson, the U of A will make its pitch today to name the Bud Walton Arena Court after him. A board of trustees meeting is set for later today in Hot Springs to discuss the name change. Ironic timing here, the board will also look into recognizing former coach Eddie Sutton. In a Fox 16 news update now, Hot Springs police make a second arrest in connection to a weekend murder case. 18-year-old Morgan Tolfson is charged with capital murder in the death of Keon Jackson Saturday. Jackson was shot at an apartment complex. Police believe this murder is drug-related. Tolfson is the second person arrested in this case. 18-year-old Laquan Pascal is in jail, also charged with capital murder. A Jacksonville mom says some neighborhood kids hit her young son in the head with a piece of wood that happened to have a nail in it. Deborah Fulton says it happened Monday while he was in the yard. She called 911 after it happened and says it took 20 minutes for an officer to arrive. Fulton says the officer apologized and explained they were in the middle of a shift change. She's now worried about the response time and whether the kids in her neighborhood have enough supervision. A lot of kids roam the neighborhood. I've seen kids his size roaming in the neighborhood, and that's concerning. Her son was treated at Children's Hospital. He is expected to be okay. No word from Jacksonville Police Department in regards to the 911 call response time. The city of Little Rock says it has created a rough draft of the ordinance that would create a police citizens review board. It would likely look over complaints against police. Now, right now, it's unclear how the citizens review board will operate with the city's civil service commission, which is made up of seven people appointed by elected city leaders. Currently, officers and citizens who file complaints against officers can appeal disciplinary decisions made by Little Rock Police Command staff to the Civil Service Commission. We are in the very early stages. We are working through a number of different details to work, uh, figure out what works best for the city of Little Rock and our community. 
The Little Rock Police Union saying, quote, without seeing the ordinance and what the mayor envisions, it is the position of the Little Rock Fraternal Order of Police that we already have a civilian review board, and it's called the Civil Service Commission. All right, 707 now and coming up, there's another flavor about to be in the mix. The M&M mix, that is. We'll tell you what it is and when it will hit store shelves.